Hey y'all, it's Brittany. If you're new to my channel, hi. If you have seen my videos before or you are a subscriber, welcome back. So today I have decided I want to re-pierce my nose. I've had my nose pierced two times before. Each time I had taken it out for something and kind of just forgot to put them back in. So it closed up. And because of COVID, um, all the tattoo shops around me uh, aren't doing any piercings that involve being under your, a mask. So I figure maybe since I've already had my nose pierced before, I can just go through the same hole, which could either be a really good idea or a really bad idea, depending on scar tissue, which I don't think I really have any because like I didn't have a keloid or anything beforehand. So we're going to see how this goes because it could either work very well and easily or I'm just going to stop halfway through and just delete this video. But yeah, if you want to see me try and attempt to pierce my nose, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm kind of really up close because I have to see into the mirror right here. Um, excuse my eyelashes. I don't know what they're doing. I guess I curled them funkily because they're like, I don't know. So, um, I have a, my hands are clean. I washed them with antibacterial soap and I just put on hand sanitizer. So ideally you wanna wear gloves. I don't have any, so my hands are clean. Um, I have a needle. I think it's, I wanna scratch my nose now. Uh, I have a needle, I think it's at 18 gauge. It's either a 16 or 18 gauge. And then I have a nose ring from um, when I got my nose pierced last, the one that they put in. I boiled both of these in boiling water for five minutes. And then I, after I did that, uh, I dipped them in alcohol. And my hands are clean, as I said. Uh, if you're doing this, which again, I do not recommend you doing, just because I'm not a professional. If you're not a professional, you shouldn't be putting ho holes in your body. It could get infected, you don't know what you're doing, things like that. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. This is just what I think is the best way to do it if you're gonna do it yourself. So yeah, um, I do not have a clamp, which I probably should get one, but it's fine. Um, and if you have never pierced your nose before, you uh, need to get like a marker or something and dot where you're going to want to pierce it with. I am just using the uh, scar I already have from when I originally had my nose pierced. Let me clean my nose off first with the alcohol pad, get all the makeup and stuff off. As you can see, the area is now clean. I kinda need more light. I can't really see perfectly what I'm doing. Ooh, okay. First layer was easy. Okay, so I have the outer layer and the second layer. I feel like I just have to get it through the very inside now. Oh. I think I might have did it. I can feel the needle. But I'm having a hard time like pushing the rest of it through. Okay, so now we just need to push this through. And get the jewelry ready to go in. So I'm not going to pull it out all the way yet.
there we go. And just to prove, I don't know, yep, y'all can see it. And there we go. Um, I know this video quality has not been good and my face looks really bad and cakey right now. Like, but it's because my skin is very dehydrated right now and I've been wearing my makeup all day. So, I'm sorry about the quality of the video and if you were even actually able to see anything when I was doing this. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'm actually thinking about doing my tongue next. I've had my tongue pierced. It was my first ever piercing besides my ears, my earlobes that my parents got when I was a baby. So I'm thinking about doing that because I know the bottom hole, that's still open. It's my top hole that isn't. So I'm thinking of getting a the right gauge needle, which this is a hollow this was a hollow point needle. This was not a regular one. This is like as close to the one you can get at a piercing shop. I want to throw that out there. It was hollow point. Yeah, so I think I might do my tongue next. Depends on how I feel, if I'm brave enough. Uh, again, I have a guideline for that. If I do my tongue, I will use a clamp though. But yeah, sorry this video is all over the place. I know I said that multiple times, but thanks for watching and yeah, bye.